the good old art of African storytelling. In the streets, in theaters, or at home in Congo, all means are fit to bring storytelling to life. Just as here at the Storytelling Resource Center in Ponwa, a school that has already trained several storytellers. I chose the art of storytelling to talk about what we can contribute to society. Storytelling isn't just about words. It is also about the body, expression, and the musicality of the text, which is what carries the audience along. We can count on trainers like Joris Mabiala to perpetuate storytelling in Congo. But before this center, there were many initiatives, such as the Festival de la Radité and the Retou Ombongi. These programs were designed to revitalize storytelling at a time when the art was losing ground in many African societies. One of the architects of these initiatives, Joras Mabiela, acknowledges the work done to mobilize people around storytelling in Congo. What we lacked was a laboratory. So my brothers and I set up the resource center to make it a laboratory for orality here in Congo, since at the time my father already had an audience who came to hear his stories. As the world celebrates International Storytelling Day on March 20th, under the theme Building Bridges, a new generation of storytellers is already in battle to perpetuate the African art of oratory. For me, storytelling awakens you. You see your mistakes, you see your advantages, you see many things, you see your destination. For Congo, the International Storytelling Day is an opportunity to reverse the trend for the young to tell stories to the old so that posterity can listen.